my name is Kristen Kimes, and I've been at Grace probably about eight, nine years. I um, am working with expectant moms, and so um, I get the privilege of lifting up our moms as they are expecting, and their families as they are expecting uh, new little ones. I have lost two children, and um, so when somebody would get pregnant, I had a very hard time being happy for them because, well, you know, you're, you're happy, but you're not happy because you haven't been able to experience that joy. So I started praying for any expectant mom, whether I'd see her in a store and just name her that girl I saw in the store today, or whether I knew them, I just started praying and the Lord just grew my heart for those women. And so I've been praying for years. And when I saw that the nursery, actually I think uh, Janie Walker, she, they had a praying, praying for moms ministry. I am given the names from Janie unless someone contacts me. My, I think my email goes out on the weekly. But yes, every couple of weeks, I uh, will send them a, a verse or some sort of encouraging note, uh, just checking in on them, telling them they can contact me anytime if they have prayer requests. And then I then forward those on to our team and they, they can uh, be praying as well. If in the Bible study there's a grandmother that has her daughter is expecting who doesn't go to grace or doesn't, is, doesn't even know the Lord, and if she just wants her on the prayer request, it, it can be an outreach to them. It's a very non-confrontational way to show God's love for people. There are unbelievers that I, I do pray for. And um, when I get the opportunity to tell them, um, most of them actually are very um, positive. They're so happy that someone is thinking about them and praying for them. I have never yet met somebody that says, sure, you can pray. Please pray. They don't even have to believe in the prayer, but they're they're just like, really, you want to take time out to pray for me? I actually have said, for me, prayer is a big part of my life, and um, I've seen the power of prayer in my own life, and I would love to be praying for you. Would that, would that be okay? I'm not forcing God down their throat. I'm telling them this is a burden of mine, and I have seen God do great things, and I would love to include them. It can be difficult to figure out how you're going to work in your faith to a conversation. And I think it was more about establishing a relationship. So having dinner with them, just do life alongside of them. And if you're living your faith, it's going to become apparent as you establish that relationship with them. There have been times in my life when there have been crisis, whether it be medical or something going on in family, and there's this easy to feel out of control. Sometimes, if I'm not aware, I start to carry that burden. And that weighs you down. And there have been times then that I stop and I cry out to the Lord and I say, okay, you say not to be anxious. You say, bring your requests. Okay, I'm bringing this. Please let your peace guard my heart and he takes it and it's like a switch just gets turned off and I know that he's in control. If I can even get a glimpse of that for someone else, I mean, why wouldn't you wanna share that? And one of my favorite verses is, delight yourself in the Lord and he will give you the desires of your heart. There is nothing you are gonna say to him that he doesn't already know before you say it. He knows how we feel, so why not pour it out to Him? It doesn't have to sound good. It doesn't, you know, have to look a certain way. Just start there. Just say, hi. Don't let this privilege of having communion with create the Creator of the universe. He is inviting us to talk to Him, and He's always there waiting.